Welcome back. In the event we didn't meet on your previous visit, let me introduce myself. I'm Dr. Brinka, the clinic director here at Brinka Family Chiropractic Center. Before you were brought back to watch this video, the receptionist gave you a few pieces of reading material to help you get familiar with your situation. Those same pamphlets are on the table in front of you, and we will now cover specific points contained in each of them. As we review the information, I want you to make a mental note of the things that stand out to you. First, look at the pamphlet that covers degeneration. Notice the different phases of degeneration referred to in this pamphlet. Look at the picture of a normal spine, and then look at the picture showing the spine in phase one, phase two, and phase three degeneration. Now compare this with the three-dimensional models on the table in front of you. You can see what a normal healthy spine looks like on the left. Then note what happens to your spine as it moves through the phases to finally end up in phase three. Knowing this, it's important to understand the different phases of care. These phases are explained in the next pamphlet. If you'll notice in the continuum at the bottom of the page, the first phase is called acute intensive care. This type of care covers a period from the time your symptoms start until your symptoms are gone. The second phase is rehabilitative care, which starts when the symptoms disappear and continue until your spine is stabilized. These two phases of care together equal what's called corrective care. The great news is that this process can now generally be accomplished in four to eight months and in as little as 30 to 60 visits in most cases, far outpacing the rate at which dental correction can be achieved. The important thing to realize is that spinal correction is a process that happens over time. You would never expect to have straight teeth after wearing braces for a day or even a month. And you cannot expect to correct years of damage and neglect to your spine and nervous system overnight. So after caring for thousands of patients, it's my experience that 98% of all people who have had chiropractic care in the past have generally experienced care in the acute intensive phase. People often start care when something hurts and only continue treatment until they feel better. To be honest, this is often as much the doctor's fault as it is the patient's because the doctor failed to explain what happens if the problem is not fully corrected. As a result, time goes by, whether months or years, until the patient is right back where they started. And now, the patient has been forced to begin the process all over again. It's important to understand that this cycle of starting and discontinuing care cannot solve the problem. And the process of degeneration and nervous system damage never stops. I often meet with patients who have had years of on and off again care, and their spines are in phase two degeneration or worse. And I unfortunately have to explain to them that although they may have received care over the years, they were only getting relief or acute care. As a result, their spines continued to degenerate. There are two main reasons that people generally only do this initial phase of care. First, health insurance tends to cover only this portion of care, so that's what most doctors treat. This is why I frequently see patients and families that have opted to do only what their insurance would cover. This inevitably leads to further deterioration and far more serious health problems that should have been cleared up years earlier. Since your health is not your insurance company's priority or responsibility, why allow them to set your goals and dictate your decisions? That's something that should be done only by you and your doctor. Because again, who is responsible for your health and future? You or your insurance company? The second reason most people only undertake this initial phase of healthcare involves doctor training. The vast majority of doctors have not been trained in the second phase of care that accomplishes structural correction. To help you understand why it's so important to maintain a healthy spine throughout life, we've asked you to read the pamphlet that discusses the nerve system. Your brain sends millions of messages down your spinal cord and out over your nerves every moment of every day. These messages have to be delivered without interference to all parts of your body in order for them to function properly. Let me ask you a question. What do you believe happens when those lines of communication between your brain and body develop static or interference caused by poor spinal alignment? If you said the affected parts of the body function poorly, become sick, and ultimately deteriorate along with your general health, you're absolutely right. You probably noticed the long list of symptoms on this pamphlet. You may even see some that you're experiencing. 
When your spine loses its normal position, it causes pressure on the nerve system and interferes with the messages being sent from your brain to your body. Before we review your x-rays, it's important you have a clear understanding of what your spine should and should not look like. On the x-ray pamphlet you looked at earlier, there are four quadrants. The top left quadrant contains normal x-rays of the spine taken from the side. The spines in the top right quadrant are all phase one. Those in the bottom left are all phase two. And finally, the bottom right are all phase three degeneration. In the sentence under the top left quadrant, you'll notice it says a normal healthy spine has first C-shaped curves, symmetrical disc spacing, and no signs of decay. If you look at the pictures of a healthy neck, mid-back and low-back, you'll notice that each of them has a nice smooth curve. These are all x-rays taken from the side with the individual facing this direction. I want to emphasize how very important that curve is. It's listed first because when the curve is lost, it sets the entire process of nerve system interference and degeneration in motion. This is because your spine is essentially a conduit for the spinal cord and nerves. It is set up like a tripod with a joint on the front and two joints in the back. When there are healthy curves, you'll notice that the weight is distributed down through these joints in normal ratios. However, notice what happens when the curve is removed or reduced. Do you see how the weight has now been transferred to the disc on the front? And then notice where all of the decay takes place as the phases of degeneration move forward, right on the front of the spine. Now that you know what this process looks like inside your body, let's take a look how it looks from the outside. You can see that as the curve is lost, the head moves forward from the shoulders. Gravity then takes over and continues to pull your head further and further out and down. You can see how over time this produces a humped back and hunched over appearance. This being the case, what do you think also happens to your nervous system and your overall health? Next, notice that in the normal x-rays, all the dark spaces between the bones are relatively equal in size. These are the disc spaces and should be equal in size and height. And third, look at what a phase two spine looks like on the pamphlet and the model. Do you see how the bones are jagged and rough around the edges? Those jagged and rough edges are what degeneration looks like inside your body. You will also be seeing views of your spine that aren't on your x-ray pamphlet. These x-rays are views of your spine taken from the front. When looking at these views, the easiest way to understand them is to think of your spine like a stack of blocks. If you were to stack 10 blocks, one on top of the other, how would you stack them to achieve the most stable structure? Obviously, you would want to stack them directly on top of each other. The same concept applies to your spine. When you look at your x-rays taken from the front, you will see a vertical line coming up from the middle of the base of your tailbone. This is your center of gravity. You will then see dots placed on the midpoint of each of the vertebrae. Dots on or very near the vertical line indicate healthy alignment. So now you know what a healthy spine should look like and what an unhealthy spine looks like. Our job as your doctor is to help you achieve your goals. After all, it's ultimately your health. So after analyzing and diagnosing your x-rays and scans, we believe you have options. The first is corrective care, which is certainly what I would recommend and is what I would do if my spine had similar structural problems. But it is a commitment and requires the most participation on your part. It is also, of course, what produces the best result. Corrective care means more interactions here in the office as well as exercises that need to be completed on each visit. We also give you exercises to complete at home on a regular basis. I wanna be very clear here. Corrective care requires your participation and effort. And finally, there is acute care. Some patients just want a quick fix and then to come and go as they please. As long as you understand what the outcomes of this type of care are and what to expect, I have no problem with that. Ultimately, it's your health, and as I said earlier, my job is to help you achieve your goals. I hope you found this information helpful. Once again, welcome to Brinka Family Chiropractic Center.